me, Chris, Kevin, what, what are the memories that you remember the most? Hmm. I think of all of you walking, walking off the field after a game, um, particularly a, 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 hard, a hard game to lose. I could, you know, walking off with all three of you when both of us were in tears, or three of us when you were playing with Chris over, the, over a game or a championship we had just lost. I think about those things when I think about the games we've won. Yeah. Those were, those were hard. Yep. And I remember I knew the first couple of days, it was always the same routine. We could have played the best game of our lives. We were going to come home and there was something else we could have done. I do this now to my own kids. And then like two hours later, it was going to be like, you guys were awesome. Yep. You guys played your ass off and I know we lost, but yep. you guys were awesome. But there was going to be that little in between where it was like, yeah. You should have made this play. Well, you didn't catch enough balls. I would have like 10 catches, but I needed 15. To win. I, I always tell that story that a couple years ago, we got done playing Tampa Bay, and I had nine for 180 on Monday Night Football. Yeah. And the first question you asked me when I walked into the lobby of the stadium after the game was what happened on the third down ball I missed on the sideline. <laughs> if there's one story that sums up my life, right. that's this guy right here. But I wouldn't trade it for the Those world. Those are the things that, and you, you know. everything that – relentlessness, that commitment, that grind, the same stuff I try to implement in my kids. I learned from him, the best coach I've ever had, the best dad. And to be able to do this together on Father's Day is awesome. Is. And uh, next time we're going to do one with Chris and Kevin. Oh, boy. And then we're going to get a lot of the stories. Oh so this is just the tip of the iceberg. Oh, boy. Watch out.